What if I told you that right now, using nothing but free open source tools, you could uncover everything a company exposes to the world? Emails, subdomains, social accounts, servers, even hidden metadata buried inside documents. All legally, all from public information. That's the power of OSINT, open source intelligence. And today, I'm going to show you the top OSINT tools that come pre-installed and ready to run on the Ultimate USB V2.1. Boot into Kali, Parrot, Black Arch, or Backbox, and every one of these tools is already there. No setup, no installs, just results. Before we jump in, let's get clear on what OSINT actually is. It's the art of collecting and analyzing information from public sources. That could be a company's website, social media posts, government filings, WHOIS records, paste sites, satellite imagery, or even the metadata inside a PDF. If the data is publicly accessible, it's fair game for OSINT. Who uses it? Cybersecurity professionals use open source intelligence to map attack surfaces before running penetration tests. Incident responders use it to identify breaches and leaks. Journalists use it to verify stories and track digital trails, and privacy-minded individuals use it to understand how much of their life is exposed online. The reason OSINT matters right now is because the digital footprint of every organization and every person is exploding. Cloud services, remote work, smart devices, and social platforms have multiplied the amount of information hanging in plain sight. If you don't know what's out there, someone else will. Learning OSINT isn't just about offense, it's about protecting yourself and your data. So let's power up the Ultimate USB V2.1 and look at the tools that can transform you from passive observer to digital investigator. First up, the Harvester. This lightweight but powerful reconnaissance tool scrapes public sources for emails, subdomains, host names, and employee names. It queries search engines, social networks, and certificate transparency logs, giving you a list of potential attack points before you even touch a scanner. Try running the harvester-dexample.com-beall and watch how much you can gather in seconds. It's the perfect starting point for any investigation. Second, Recon NG. Think of it as a framework for reconnaissance, the same way Metasploit is a framework for exploitation. It has modules for everything, domain lookups, social media checks, credential leaks, API harvesting, and more. You can create workspaces, automate data collection, and export professional grade reports. It's structured, scriptable, and ideal for repeatable OSINT workflows. Third, Spiderfoot. Spiderfoot takes automation to another level. It connects to hundreds of data sources, DNS, Shodan, Have I Been Pwned, VirusTotal, and many others. You point it at a domain, IP, or name, and it builds a full intelligence map for you. You can run it locally through its web interface or schedule scans to run automatically from your USB. It's like having your own digital intelligence analyst running in the background. Fourth, Maltigo. If Spiderfoot collects data, Maltigo visualizes it. It's a link analysis tool that turns raw intelligence into interactive relationship graphs. Drop in a domain, an email address, or a person's name, and Maltigo's transforms start pulling connections. IPS, social profiles, phone numbers, and more. It's perfect for analysts who want to see the bigger picture. In your ultimate USB setup, Maltigo opens straight from the Applications Arrow Information Gathering menu. Fifth, Sherlock. This one's a favorite for digital investigators. You give it a username, say Tech Guru, and Sherlock checks hundreds of social platforms to see where that handle exists. It's fast, accurate, and fantastic for building social media profiles or tracking aliases across the web. With a single command, python3sherlock.py username, you can uncover an entire online identity footprint. Sixth, Sublist 3R. Simple but powerful. 
It enumerates subdomains for a given domain using multiple search engines and online APIs. Run sublist3r-dexample.com and you'll see everything from mail.example.com to dev.example.com. Those subdomains often reveal forgotten infrastructure, staging servers, and test environments. In OSINT, those forgotten doors are often the most revealing ones. Seventh, EXIF tool. It's small, command line based, and absolutely essential. EXIF tool extracts metadata from images, documents, videos, any file you throw at it. That metadata can reveal camera models, timestamps, GPS coordinates, usernames, even network paths. EXIF tool photo.jpg might tell you where a picture was taken, on what device, and when. In forensics, that's pure gold. Before we wrap up, there are two tools you might be wondering about. Shodan and Metagoo Phil. Both are legendary in the OSINT world, but I intentionally left them out of this list. Shodan is incredibly powerful for discovering exposed devices and services on the internet, but the command line version requires a paid membership before you can actually run meaningful searches. Metagoofill, on the other hand, is a classic document metadata harvester, but modern search engines throttle automated scraping so heavily that it requires proxy routing and advanced setup to work reliably today. If you want a full breakdown of Shodan, Metagoofill, or any of the other tools we covered today, and how to use them safely and effectively, let me know in the comments and I'll make a dedicated deep dive video. And before you jump into OSINT on your own, there's one more thing you need to hear. Open source intelligence is incredibly powerful, but with that power comes responsibility. Always stay on the right side of the law, respect privacy, and only investigate systems or organizations you are authorized to test. OSINT is about understanding exposure, improving security, and protecting yourself and others, not crossing boundaries. Don't forget to check out the tagged product. Let me know if we left out any of your favorite tools. If you found this valuable, hit like, subscribe, and let me know what OSINT tool you want covered next. Stay curious, stay ethical, and I'll see you in the next one.